Hello again. On the last video, I have to admit that I was so cold that uh, I underestimated the English weather. And that's one lesson we should never forget how easy it is to be caught out. And hypothermia can come just like that. But there you go, lesson learned. And this time I'm uh, well wrapped up. But it's sod's law that the, uh, the amount of clothes I've got on and the type of clothes I've got on are actually too thick. And I'm wishing that uh, I was wearing the last clothes that I was wearing and uh, I was a little bit cooler. But again, that's life. We live and learn. Right, on this uh, video, um, I'm going to uh, continue along the same theme as I did with the last one. This is video five and video four was all about seeing and believing and I don't see any reason to change it. It's to continue on the long, along, I do apologize, on the same theme as I did before. Um, and that is to explain spirit and connections to heaven and earth and the vision we process in our minds um, with the uh, the understanding of myself as I uh, said before using a, a long zoom lens which I no longer have um, and taking pictures of the sky because the reason uh, I used to do it is that the sky represents our own salvation it's what we are it is a reflection of our true self. I'll come to explain that um, a lot more uh, in one of my other videos but basically it's like looking in a pool or in a mirror and what do you see? You see a reflection of yourself. Once you come to understand spirit in all its glory you can understand that life is about a purpose relating to heavenly beings that's ourselves um, what we are all about as I was saying uh, this particular video video number five um, is all about the reasons why we're here on earth being able to be more spiritual and being able to connect to spirit our source upstairs where we came from to those who uh, don't believe in that kind of thing, it's your loss, your understanding. I accept that. But as for me and scores of other people who come to learn that we are born from above, descended and live our lives according to our wishes, spiritual. And we cross over again, go back to uh, the heavenly realm unless we're grounded on earth uh, that'll be another video uh, we get back to the heavens and then we start our next schooling process for our next reason to return to earth um, and begin all over again living our spiritual understanding um, our experience because that what uh, excuse me because that's what life's all about is experience we're given the understanding that we uh, can live our life according to our wishes and God doesn't intervene um, it's mankind's choice um, to do as we will free will they call it and we just continue to live and learn make our mistakes and then we go back to the heavenly realm once we've passed away but the reason for this video is to get you to understand that you simply have to keep thinking upwards. Everybody says in, within their life, um, heavens above, little sayings like that. And we all continue to say the hell below us. And we... Um, we don't seem to have a true concept, or many people don't seem to have a true concept 
the fact that heaven really is above. It is our base, our home, our true home, and we simply live within a human frame, or we, uh, we can change our physical um, state, uh, but that will be another video. If I do it, um, we simply live within this physical body and we are guided and surrounded by other spiritual individuals who've been processed to help us along our path. We should know that. We, um, we at times can understand um, that other people have said it on TV and in the media that we, uh, we go through our lives and we uh, find that we have lost our way and we continue to try to get back on the path. Have you ever wondered why people actually say that? What is their true meaning? We go through our lives and we uh, occasionally find that ourselves or our friends, our families, um, our work colleagues, um, they're living their lives, they're having their ups and downs and occasionally someone comes along and you find that they are saying to themselves they've lost the reason to um, exist, they've lost their path, they've lost their true identity, they've lost their uh, mojo as I once said before, but then they're actually saying that they've lost their way in life. They've considered it a burden to themselves. They need to be put back online and helped along to continue their life. But the only uh, thing that I can say to that is they, they don't, they're, lost, they're so lost in their ways, they don't understand not only how to get back to what they um, are trying to do or trying to be, they've lost the understanding of where they come from. It's interesting. Every now and again a song comes along and helps us find our way. Uh, another particular song that brings us back um, to ground us and that uh, has been uh, the last one I remember was Hallelujah. It suddenly finds that spark within ourselves and if you uh, understand that every now and again life goes on and suddenly along comes another song that hits the note, hits our heartstrings and uh, brings us back down to earth, it helps us uh, spiritually. Okay, back in the room again, I was a bit distracted by uh, a considerable amount of mad, uh, mad mountain bikers back there the youth of today. Uh, once upon a time I was the same, uh, but as you get older um, it's, uh, it's not easy to contend with things um, of modernization, faster cars and uh, rules and regulations just go out the window, um, where in my time you were uh, stricter with what you did, your behaviour but these days it's as if anybody cares. As I was saying, there are individuals who lose their way in life and uh, they're so lost in their ways, they forget their true roots and they forget to look beyond the physical and start going back into the spiritual. And what I'm saying is that uh, a lot of people will find that they, uh, they can gain solace by simply going into a, a church it isn't anything to do with religion, it's simply to find a spiritual understanding, um, uh, find a higher source, um, a godly service, in order to help them get back on their true path. I've seen this a few times, uh, where people simply go into a, um, a church or some special place and out all the emotions come. What they're doing is they're making a link back to the source, to the light, to the heavenly realm. And they, uh, they just ask the help of God. 
or they can ask the help of whatever understandings they believe in but in the uh, in the years that I've uh, been around on this earth I've witnessed that all the people I see were really troubled they they uh, they can go and tap into this higher source I was talking about and that is one of the things I'm doing on this video and that is to show you a lot of aspects relating to the skies, the source, the light and simply help you to understand that it's like looking in a mirror or looking in a, a pool because the, the light, the source, the skies, the heaven are a reflection of your own being, your own self it is another way of living your life, your existence in a different form because to put it another way your higher self, another aspect of you is preparing the way for you to be developed back in the room again but there you go, as I was saying, life goes on, we live and learn. Anyway, right, like the last video I did and uh, a couple of times on the previous videos, I'm going to put some images up uh, to help you stretch your mind, if that is what your, uh, your wishes are. And they're still based on cloud formations it's a matter of breaking the uh, the ritual of the human ability to imagine shapes from a no shape of a cloud these are as I said before zoomed in enhanced and cropped and it's a matter of stretching your mind spiritually and trying to see beyond the facade of the image and take yourself into a, a different understanding uh, not to be stuck with this um, philosophy of cloud shapes resembling something it's a matter of breaking free from that and learning to understand a difference or an aspect of creativity once you uh, master that technique uh, you should progress a little bit further and the next images that you see after that you should be able to suddenly focus without any uh, any help but that depends on how creative your mind can get it's just a matter of believing really I had um, an awful lot to pass out to you guys the um, the bank of information that I have uh, built up over my uh, years is uh, considerable so I'm going to continue along the same thing uh, as I did before Thank you. 
Thank you.